Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Already enjoying a great conversation with my next guest. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with Team Lifeline, it is a wonderful fundraising project for High Lifeline. We're going to tell you all about it and how you can get involved in a marathon, not here in Montreal, in sunny Miami. I'm joined by Zachary Steinleff and Adrian Drazen. Welcome to the show. It's Hi. great to have you thank both you, here. You. This is what, for those people that aren't familiar with High Lifeline, maybe tell us a little bit about it. All right, so High Lifeline is a fantastic organization. Basically, it helps children and families who are affected by childhood life-threatening uh, life illnesses. So it takes care of them, takes care of the siblings, the parents. Um, there are summer programs for the kids. There are, it's, it's year-long programs that really take the edge off of an illness. Yeah, and I think it started really as, as a summer camp, Zachary, but it's become much more than that. And Montreal is one of the, uh, one of the latest to get involved in this. Tell us how, how you got involved. Um, three years ago, I, uh, I saw an ad for High Lifeline, and, uh, and one of my uh, good friends at the time uh, was getting involved. And he basically said, come join. And I said, all right, uh, helping kids, why not? And, uh, and here we are three years later. Uh, have you have you competed in the in this particular marathon before? Yeah. Yeah. So tell yeah. us about it. I mean, everyone knows what a marathon is, but this one's really special. It, it's it's quite different. This one is phenomenal. So it takes place in Miami, Florida. There are 20,000 runners uh, that take part in this, and only a small group are running for High Lifeline. Um, we train here in Montreal, which is a lot of fun, especially today. So, um, <laughs> if you... And you're not even being facetious about that because <laughs> no, no. the temperature's gotten much better. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, you'll hear about it soon, but it's a heat wave coming up. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we train, we train weekly, um, rain, wind, snow, sunshine, whatever. We get up, we put our gear on, and we, we just hunker through the streets of Montreal. If you see us running around, please give us a hunk and a donation. <laughs> You'll hear about that soon. But then the reward is running in sunny, gorgeous Miami Beach, Miami Beach and South Beach, and it's really a trip to run with, like, super-duper phenomenally talented athletes, and yeah. then, you know, like, me and my chicken arms running along. <laughs> but it's great. It's great. Zachary, how many people involved here from Montreal? Uh, in Montreal, yeah. we're a team of 55 this year. Um, we've actually had some like really tremendous growth within the last three years. We've gone from 10 runners to 12 runners wow. to 55. Um, and that obviously translates to how much we fundraised also. So three years ago we were up to 50,000, then we went to 55,000, and this year we are a whopping 250,000 and still going strong for a $300,000 goal. Do you, do you change the way you train in this kind of weather? I imagine that you, know, you don't just train during the winter season, right? Well, You're you, both probably listen, running you, throughout you, the year. You, you ought to bundle up, yeah. you know, for sure. You know, hats, scarves, gloves. Layers. Layers. <laughs> that is pretty much the <laughs> layers. And there's a big celebration, too, the day before. So the run, as I understand it, is yeah. on the Sunday. But on the Saturday, you guys do a big celebration. Right? I mean, that's like an understatement. Yeah. It is. It's like a parade and a festival and a carnival all in once. It's a pep rally, um, you know, kids, we call them warriors, kids uh, who have overcome illnesses are, are speaking and giving sort of pep talks and fundraising awards, and it's just, it's fantastic, a lot of fun. Uh, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, the camp itself, the uh, Simcha camp. Tell us a little bit about uh, the camp and, and what, what are the benefits for kids when they go to the camp? Well, you know more about this. Yeah, so about this past that. summer, I, I was up at camp, and basically, it's it's really about taking the edge off of the constant hospital life. So camp is actually designed to be a hospital in disguise, but the kids basically have no idea unless they're headed off to the specific infirmary building. They're doing amazing activities. They're going on the craziest of outings. Um, they're really just living life as a kid versus living life in the hospital, and it's super inspiring to be there. Well, and I imagine you, you probably see the kids transform through this as well. That's I, very true. I, I mean, do you hear stories of how kids, you know, what, what this has meant to them? They come back from the two week, um, the, the two weeks in camp, and all they could talk about for the next year is those <laughs> specific two weeks in camp. Yeah. And that's and that's it, you know. And it's that little bit of energy that they need, you know, in those two weeks to to just help them through whatever they're going through. I asked you, Zachary, how you got involved, but I didn't ask you how did you get involved. So my uh, my niece uh, my nieces are very involved in High Lifeline. Okay. My niece uh, Ricky Drazen, she's a young girl, but she's a powerhouse, and she works for High Lifeline, and she's very quietly working for them, which is to say, you know, she will hang out, and then later on she'll uh, she'll sneak out to go sleep in the hospital to keep a kid company so that the parents right. could stay with. 
with their siblings and you know through through these little things that she was doing I realized hey what do you what is this that you're doing and we learned more about it got more involved and I mean took it from there yeah and Zachary you mentioned the incredible growth that you've seen you know since year one right. ten people to, to, to 55 how much have you raised so far and, and do you have a goal specific yeah. goal for so this year? up to date we've raised about two hundred fifty thousand dollars um, and our goal is to reach a three hundred thousand dollar mark nice and how can people do that because I'm sure is there still time to sign up there is still <laughs> there is definitely time to sign up but if you're cozy in your bed and mm -hmm. you don't want to get out um, and this morning to go for a run with us you can go to teamlifeline.org and uh, click on one of our names Adrienne or Zach and good luck with the spelling and uh, <laughs> and donate I mean your money that we raise today is being used being put to use tomorrow yeah. in very real ways God, thank you so much to you both. Thanks for, for having us. us. Thank oh, you for real having pleasure. Us. Don't go away. <laughs> Lots more coming up here on Breakfast Television, of course, including your look at weather, traffic. We've got your news headlines, your sports, right here on Beats.